August 2013, and NATO leaders can't get the public on side for the imminent bombing of Syria. Suddenly, the BBC says it was filming a small rural hospital, and a game-changing atrocity happens right there, the moment they were filming. We were filming the doctors working at this hospital when victims of an incendiary bomb attack on a school playground started pouring in. Absolute chaos and carnage here. It must be some sort of napalm. But the highly skeptical public stayed hostile to military intervention. Exactly one month later, the leaders are trying to pin a chemical weapons attack on Syria without success. The BBC airs exactly the same footage but digitally alters the word napalm for, quote, chemical weapons, hoping no one will notice. Absolute chaos and carnage here. It must be some sort of chemical weapon. Not only did folks notice, but it unleashed a massive public investigation, which made some extremely disturbing findings. This is the total fabrication. From beginning to end of an atrocity with BBC reporter Ian Pannell standing amidst a tableau of very bad actors. This is completely beyond the pale. This audio analysis by media investigator Robin Upson shows both versions are identical and from the same speech. The BBC then digitally altered the words from napalm to chemical weapon, the exact justification NATO was finding difficult to prove. That game-changing allegation was made by two doctors that had travelled with the BBC, who claimed the number of sudden casualties is, quote, overwhelming. What kind of doctor, notes media investigator Robert Stewart, gives interviews when she is surrounded by supposedly seriously burned and dying teenagers? Get anyone who isn't a patient out of here. When a nurse does finally start to help, her order to get anyone who isn't a patient out of here doesn't apply to the cameramen. Even worse, notes Stuart, is the bizarre acting which starts when the man in the center gives the sign. What do you need to see? We are just human beings. We want to live, you know? Isn't it our right to live? Dr. Roller, on whose sole claim the BBC sends napalm chemical weapons allegations around the world, is actually the daughter of Syrian rebel Musa al qadi The parallel to the Gulf War and nurse Naira is stunning. Congressman said the nurse's tearful testimony that Iraqis were killing children swung their vote in favor of war. I took the incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. Nurse Naira became the mainstream's darling, but once the vote had safely passed, she admitted inventing the whole thing and was actually the daughter of the Kuwaiti ambassador to Washington, lying to get the public to back war.